Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran. Dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Third and goal from the eight. Tariel's down four, 35 31. May has the shotgun snap. Pressure coming. Rolls to the right. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Antoine Green! 16 seconds to go, no flags. Hello again and welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel and man do we have a great 30 minutes upcoming for you. Ton of stuff to get to and that starts of course with Carolina's big win over in Durham. Tar Heels for the fourth consecutive year are going to hold on to the victory bell after getting yet another impressive road win this time in Wallace Wade. We'll have highlights of that victory over the Blue Devils. But not just football for us on the show today, a ton of other things to get to, including Tar Heel basketball. It was ACC Media Day this past week. Hubert Davis, head coach of the Heels, of course, took Armando Baycott, Caleb Love, and RJ Davis with him to Charlotte to talk Tar Heels. You'll see some of that. Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to speak to Aranza Vasquez. She is a terrific diver for the Tar Heels, an Olympian. She finished sixth in the three-meter in the Olympics last time around, representing her home country of Mexico. Adam and I had a great time talking to Aranza. And, boy, a ton of action this weekend around Carolina Athletics. We'll show you some highlights of some big Olympic sport wins. So much to do over the next 30 minutes. Let's start with Carolina and Duke football in Wallace Wade. Blue Devils rush just three. May out of the pocket, fakes the pass down the field. Now he's going to run and slides down on his seat in the middle of the big white Duke D logo at midfield. Second down, May. Speed option again. Flips it this time. It's Hampton left side. The freshman, boy, gracious, just punishing tacklers. He lowered his shoulder into Darius Joyner as he crossed the 15. They need to get to the three. May Morales is going to throw. Boy, wide open. Morales, touchdown. Brian saw it from up here. How could you miss it? There wasn't a Duke player in the neighborhood. Tar Heels on the Duke side of the 50 at the 47. May to throw again. Wants something deep. Goes deep and caught at the 15. Spinning through a tackle but stepping out of bounds is Antoine Green. Third and two from the Duke four. Tar Heels do have a timeout, so they can run it in theory. But May is going to throw. Rolls out of the pocket to the right. Trying to extend the play. Goes to the front corner of the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown. Caleb Hood out of the backfield with a terrific grab to hit Pater. Carolina sends Nesbitt in motion. May looking down the left sideline. Looking for Downs. Downs has a step, adjust, and has it. Holy cow, what a catch. He's at the one. What a grab by Downs. Carolina moving quickly. They hand off, and it's a touchdown. Elijah Green, just into the ball game, finds the end zone. May has some pressure in his face, lobs it down the field. Another adjustment and terrific catch. What can't Josh Downs do? Heels keep it on the ground. Green, right up the gut. Green breaks tackles and hits Pater. Well, hey there, buddy. Elijah Green. It's going to be a toss sweep to the near side. Carolina is there. No, sir. Gray, Biggers, shut it down. May, first play is a throw out to the sideline. J.J. Jones spins away from a defender. Jones down the far sidelines, knocked out of bounds at around midfield. Quick swing pass near side. Caleb Hood. Hood has his face Face mask mask, grabbed, and here comes the flag. Hood's down at the 40, and that's going to be a face mask, I believe. Tar Heels down four, 35-31. May has the shotgun snap. Pressure coming. Rolls to the right. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Antoine Green. 16 seconds to go. No flags. Leonard in the shotgun. 
will drop back to throw. Ball is tipped and intercepted. Carolina's going to win it. Picked up by Will Hardy. The freshman seals it for the victory bell. The victory bell is staying in Chapel Hill for the fourth consecutive season. But one of the best things we do is one-minute offense. And I knew when we had two minutes left in the game after they missed the field goal, we had a great chance to win.